bring up the P card things or not? Or okay. Um, there was uh, some concern that we had uh, concerning the use of uh, uh, a credit card at Lowe's, uh, we, and I don't know how this is set up. Bank card too. And in another bank card. Yeah, you know, bank. We have a United Bank card. My question, I don't know, is uh, is there reasons we have the P card and those cards? I mean, is there reasons that, that you know of we would have both? Right on, right on. That's like the lunch card probably for a discount. You get a 5% off if you use a card. It's just, it's just, I think the concern was how do we track things. As well. You know, we can track things much better with the P card, I think, than maybe. Like, is that, was that your concern? Yeah, I think that's the big the big concern is the internal control with um, a Lowe's card and a uh, United Bank card. Uh, anytime, I feel like anytime you have credit cards and they're available, um, you know, they can be used for whatever reason. Um, I think the, the state set up a P card to kind of eliminate that um, concern that you would possibly have with uh, basically the control issue of who has it, um, what's bought, and what's purchased. So I was, and I stated that in our budget, in our budget meeting, and I would, I would like for, um, for us to actually go um, and stick with a P card and use our P card for purchases. Uh, so I tell you what, let's do. Uh, I don't know why we couldn't do that, uh, but if it's all right with the commission, I'd like to go ahead and have that put on the agenda for the next time. And that way we can see if there's some things that we can't purchase or need to be purchased some other way. I want to have um, Jack Berry to come down and meet with Mary um, next Wednesday at 3. If that's okay with you. Um, and then he can kind of give you the rundown. He's the guy that's over the state. He wants to be the state. I know there's some other we we use the county staples card <clears throat> the project so there you may have several uh, kinds of cards well, like what we'll do we'll get an idea of how many cards we got yeah, where they're at and, that, and if that can be handled through one system we'd rather do that because the p card does have i know charles and i have sat through lectures on it it does have people there watching for expenditures that don't seem right and they contact us and things of that nature. It also has a cash back type thing that if you use it so much you get a percentage back on it and things. So I think it could probably, we'll look at that and then be able to give you an answer there at the next meeting as far as how we want to handle that. I was in, I'm, I'm under the impression from just speaking with Jack that um, the P card, it's, it's basically a visa. So anywhere visa is taken, Staples. I mean, other than that, that was the only thing that I had. Which I, I will say, you know, as I mentioned before, I have uh, uh, both uh, Mr. Matthews and myself who attended the uh, Furlesburg Community Center meeting the other night, thir uh, Thursday, at Steers, as did uh, Mr. Bumfield and the sheriff, and, um, and we met with that board of directors there. Uh, I think we could see from these people that they're very committed to trying to do something up there to help the community and, and uh, you know, as I said before, we're going to do everything we can to help them do that. Uh, was there anything else I was supposed to remember? Okay. I, I will make one comment is uh, I know that a lot of the people that work in the courthouse here are concerned. We're looking into this uh, comp time, uh, how it's applied and, and whether we're clients with state code and personnel policy. I talked with Judge Hope today and we're having, uh, he's having uh, someone from the Department of Labor come down here and address that situation for us. So uh, we will basically wait to see what they have to say about that and then uh, whatever they recommend, uh, uh, we will probably implement that with, uh, uh, along with uh, Judge Hope's recommendations. Mr. Matthews. Um, I would like to um, kind of go ahead and get started with um, the bid process or getting quotes for bids for our various community centers um, with um, we're talking about um, maintenance, uh, maintenance issues that we would have throughout the county um, and in, the, in those particular community centers. I would like to go ahead and start that. Um, I think it gives the taxpayer a uh, the lowest price possible and uh, I think it's, just, it's, it's good for the county. 
Um, you want to add something? No, I just want to say along that same line, I'd kind of like to get an updated uh, financial report for each community center just to see where we're at as far as it's going. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. Well, and that, uh, I asked for one from uh, the Thurlsburg when we were up there last Thursday, so I'm expecting because they get uh, their board together and everything, we'll get one from them. But I should have known that. So. And it, it would be important for the people who are planning to bid, like if they wanted to bid and they're planning the uh, McCorpin Community Center, that um, whoever it is is in charge that looks to make sure that, that everything is taken care of, that they understand what they, their duties are before they enter into an agreement. Um, I have that. And then there was a, another thing that I was looking at. Um, Looking at uh, some various contracts, I noticed that we have a contract with uh, Sheldon Tucker to do our quarterly reports and our financial statements um, and to do our books. And uh, I noticed that we had a contract with her for $600 a day. I noticed that we did bid that out um, to try to find a qualified CPA, and I don't know where we are. Have we received anything yet? Is it past the time? I mean, is it been a, it's two, did you ever pass, did we ever pass for two weeks, or do you know how much it was? I'm not sure, but uh, so she did, we did Harold this back and the Charles. Where, where are they doing? Because I, I was looking, and I wasn't able to find. I, I didn't personally do them, but um, what, what you have, just, usually the this paper, a secret copy of it, we did it whatever, so. Okay. If you can do that, ask for a copy, and make sure that they did do it. Okay. And see where, and see where we're advertising. Okay. So we could be advertising in the legal so if we're advertising the legal so no one's going to see it. Mike, what's his name? Mike Griffin, he, you know, he can hear about some of it, but he talked about it. He, he may be okay. Well, Mike really knows a lot, I mean, as far as he's, he's from this area, he knows the people and things like that, so, you know, it's, uh, and, and we really, we really feel, I, at least I really feel that we need to get a CPA on board doing a lot of this, because uh, it's not, it's not that, even though I let KK handle most of the numbers, it's not that I can't handle numbers, it's just I'm not very good at it. And, and, and I, don't like, I don't like doing it. And, uh, but, uh, but I do, I have worked with Michael, uh, with Griffith before. And, I mean, if we don't hear from anybody else, I would suggest we contact him about that. He did price and he did that. Right. Well, if it's okay with the board, uh, if we don't receive any more bids, then is it okay with you guys if I contact Michael and ask him what he would do the job? Yeah, that's fine. Is that okay? That's all right. Okay. Um, the, uh, the, the, on, along that line, I was actually looking, and I know that we have a contract with Sheldon Tucker, and, um, and I kind of just stumbled across a, um, a $14,000 uh, invoice that we got from a company called Government Services of West Virginia. And uh, this was actually to do our financial statements and quarterly reports. Um, and I couldn't really understand. If we had a we had a contract with Shelva, but I couldn't find that we have a contract with this government services of West Virginia, and I noticed that their phone numbers are the same. The government services of West Virginia and Shelva Tucker's, I believe, their or fax numbers are the same, and one's located in Elkview and one's in Pinch, and I was just trying to find out some more information, Mary can find some more information about this particular entity that we pay to do this service. And uh, I'd pass that on to her. Okay. When you get that information, give it to the Okay. Um, no. Tell you, I met with the Superintendent Lucas to talk about the project, and we'll follow up on that. I told you at the last meeting I tried to find my papers, and I did about the, what's happening out in Duval Way. May the 30th, uh, the class of Duval 1965 and others are going to have a, I guess, an honor meeting and a, a group to those people who served in the service from 1960 to 75, and they're basically going to meet put a marker there in Duval and uh, have a program in honor of our fallen vets. And then also on May the 18th, they're having a, uh, the class of 65 is honoring one of their own uh, members. And that'll be uh, at 12, 1230 at the uh, Church of God on Samaritan Mountain. So uh, just, 
I'm sure they'll have something else in the paper, but I didn't have it last time. I thought I'd look it up. The only other thing I have, I just thought it might be appropriate if the commission um, maybe a resolution or just support or something. But I just think it, the, the miners and the disabled miners, retired miners of the Patriot, I think they need our support if it might help a little bit. If we can come up with a letter maybe from you and uh, just let them know that we are with them and, and support them and trying to make sure the Patriot is fair. It's, it's, it's a big concern. I think that's a huge concern. <coughs> well, I think it does like the union people and the, Speaking up and, and doing this, the Coal Association may not be fully in favor, but I think they even are. But we just need to let them know we've spoke up on behalf of the coal company before trying to help get mining projects. I think maybe we should do something just to help the miners. So. I'll entertain a motion of, uh, to adopt a resolution in support of the retirees and uh, and, uh, and uh, other workers of Patriot in their uh, endeavors to uh, get what's appropriately with theirs. They, they paid into those I'll things. I'll move on that. That's it. That's all, yes. Appreciate it. I think it's, uh, I lived through the time as a physician when uh, mm -hmm. Senator Rockefeller, uh, Governor Rockefeller, Senator Rockefeller, worked on the UMWA 50s plan to where they could get those people covered when they weren't mm -hmm. covered things. To me, there seems to be a need for some intervention by those type people in this thing. And make sure that make sure that the retirees and these people that have given their whole life and their whole health right. to the mines that they shouldn't and, and paid in themselves on these retirement things that they should they should be looked at as they were originally made the agreement. As you, as you work for us, you sacrifice for us, you get your retirement, you get your benefits. That's, right. they're, they're, that's it. There's no ifs and buts or any regression. Yeah, this thing just seems like the more that unfolds is definitely a Ponzi top game. It's pushing them and trying to dodge the bullet. Right. Set them up to fail. Okay, our next, uh, we need to convene on the 16th, is it? Uh, uh, to, to lay the levy? Yes. At what time are we going to meet then? Yeah. So 6 p.m. last time. 6? That's fine with me. Okay, and our next commission meeting will be April the 18th, but we will have a meet, a special session at 5.30 on the 18th for the uh, Lower Mud River Watershed, I mean water project that we uh, had today. We're going to have another meeting then at that time. Sure. <coughs> Okay, yeah. Uh, it, yeah, uh, Mr. McCann, Mr. McCann made up the point that we, uh, brought up the point that we probably need someone designated to be at the auction if needed for the uh, auction in the Hot Hearts uh, uh, Middle School. And uh, it, it, it doesn't matter to me who does that. I don't care to do that if, if that's what the commission wants. Uh, do I have a motion? I move our president represents at that auction. Is there a second? Yes, sir. All yes? yes. All yes. If, is there anybody else needs to speak to us tonight? If not, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. I move. Is there a second? Second. We stand adjourned. <laughs>